Greetings YouTube, Dark Swordsman here, and we're back for more Tommy One. And in today's episode, we're going to be checking out the Trick Village, which is currently half submerged in uh, water. So without further ado, let's get on with today's show. Uh, so that chest we cannot open just yet. It's a 10,000 year old chest, which we need the key for. We're going to get our hands on that very shortly, by the way. <coughs> The underwater pig bag. Okay, so first things first, we need to head over to the other side of the village here and grab this pendant. I'm gonna grab this as well so I can heal up. Next, we're gonna have to retreat from here just for a moment. We need to go to the Haunted Mansion and we'll go to the 1000 year old wise man's um, hut and the best way to do it. We must do away with the evil haunted pig soon. Just heal up. Oh god, I just walked up first into that. Uh, we're going to head up here and then we're going to go to the store here we need. I think. Grab this chest for the stone boomerang while we're at it. Oh, she's not here. What? Oh, gone. Looks like we're gonna have to talk to the 10,000 year old man first. Okay. I apologize, folks, I did not know this. Back to the trick village we go then. I thought that uh, I could just go and take the pendant straight over and I thought I could bypass, but apparently not. That's my bad. We'll go ahead and uh, rectify that little blip now, as it were. Um, so to get to the 10,000 year old wise man, we're going to basically make our way across here. One over, we want this one here. Do, 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 do. Here he is. Who do you think you are entering someone's house without permission? The 10,000 year old man? How dare you address me so casually? That's Mr. 10,000 year old man to you, young man. The story of the evil pigs, eh? I see, so you must be the 100 year old man and 1000 year old man we're talking about. Hmm, well, how does this sound? As you can see, the trick village has sunken underwater. There are 10 math beads with numbers on them hidden in the water. If you can find all of the beads and bring them back to me, I'll tell you everything you want to know. However, we don't know how to dive yet, and that's where that pendant comes into play. However, you can't collect the beads just by swimming through the water, you'll have to be able to dive underwater. Hey, don't give me that dirty look. Alright, fine, I'll give you one hint. Just a while ago, the mermaid came by to see me. She said she found an important, uh, an important item that she... that she had lost in the waterfall but she can't get to it on her own the poor child looks so depressed if you help her by getting the item for her then just maybe she'll teach you how to dive the mermaid should be resting at the haunted mansion right now <laughs> right now she should have appeared where we need her to 
So I'll pause the recording for two seconds while I just get back there. Okay, so now we are back in the mansion. There we go. I can give her the seashell necklace. What's this? Why, it's my necklace. Did you go get this for me? Thank you so much. <coughs> hmm, you want to learn how to dive? Well, you've come to the right person. Really. I have something I need under the water here. If you can go get it, you've mastered the art of diving. Well, let's start by getting you into the water. There you go. Now, see how you float automatically. It's not that hard to learn how to dive. Now try pressing the down directional button. Press the down directional button to submerge your head. That's good. Now to move forward in the direction that you want, press the directional button and the special button at the same time. Right, now just like that. Can you get the item you need, I need from underwater? You've got the hang of it. I still can't remember what exactly I need to do with that mighty fish food. I've got to jog my memory. Yeah. Well, do you think you can handle diving now? Since you've got this for me, I'll give you some mighty fish food. I don't know much about it either, but I've heard that the mighty fish will appear when you put this food in the water. Hmm. Okay, so from here we're going to head back to the Trick Village, so I'll see you there in just a moment. Alright, so back in the Trick Village, then we can finally dive down. <coughs> and we can start collecting all these beads. There's number one. Damn fish. So annoying. Oops. There's one. There we go. There's number seven. can jog on. Oh, oh get over. These fish really do get on my nerves. <coughs> Luckily for us there are plenty of healing items in the water that will allow us to heal. see how many we've got so far. One, two, three. 
missing number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we're missing four and ten, so we need two more. Let's see if we can't locate them. There's that one. I don't have enough experience for that one just yet. Um, but we'll, we'll get it eventually. Put that one down, then we've got ourselves a shortcut from one side to the other. And there's number 10. Right, with our 10 math beads now collected, we can go and have a, another chat with the 10,000 year old fart, as it were. Ah, indeed, these are the math beads I asked for. Thank you. I hope there's no hard feelings, son. I just had to test your strength and see it for myself. Those evil pigs are fearsome, you know? Anyway, thanks to you, I've done my duty. What was my duty? Why, for you to learn how to dive and get the evil pig bag from the trick village. <coughs> ah, which reminds me, you need to get the evil pig bag. I guess I'll give you my 10,000 year old key as well. The 1,000 year old man said I have to give it up to you, the old fart. Now there's just one more thing left, the story of the evil pigs. I think it would be better for you to ask the million year old man about that. He's the eldest of the elders. He'll even be able to tell you where the pigs uh, derive their powers from. The key to the underground maze is... Ah, yes, here it is. The million-year-old man lives in the underground maze, underneath the watchtower. Be careful. Right then. So with that, uh, oh, actually, wait a minute, wait a minute, I'm getting ahead of myself here, oops, right, let's dive back down, there's some chests that we can now open, oh god, that fish is not going to leave me alone, there we go, he's dealt with, oh crumb. Taking so many hits right now. Well, that's not what I was looking for, but I'll take it. Oh, my shortcut's been reset. That's a little bit on the uh, annoying side. moment. <clears throat> Looks like I need to get round the other side. So I'm gonna have to go up and over. Since the game's decided to be evil and close my shortcut. Not amused. Oops. Get lost! You annoying fish, leave me alone. Oh, there's a chest there, that's one of them. Ah, just fully healed ourselves, nice. Where is it? Actually, I think it might be towards the top somewhere. box we're looking for is around here somewhere. There, I think it's this one. Whoops. Got it. Right, now we just 
just need to get the hell out of here. Annoying fish, leave me alone. There we go, we're out. Thank God for that. Alright, so now we need to go to the village of civilization in order to go and defeat this evil pig. Okay, so for this next fight, we're going to unequip the Funky Paracel, because actually in this fight, the Funky Paracel will hil uh, hinder us. I'm just going to save my game also, because this battle is a particularly tough one. Who's there? That bag there, that's the yellow evil pig bag. Look, uh, I, I, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm innocent, yes really. Uh, look, I, I can see you're good at swimming and all, but if you stay in the water too long, you'll start turning red colours, like me, see? So I'm sure you want to get out of the water and just go away. No? Ugh, fine, I'm warning you though. I can beat anyone and anything when it comes to water. take him down so quick but I'll go with it I'm not complaining that's that taken care of Right. Oh, yeah. 
I'll re equip this one as well. What I actually wanted to use was Baron because I want to go to the old tree. Because now that we've got the 10,000 year old key, we can go grab the jungle pig bag, I think it is. jungle pig that I can't actually remember where the heck he is even though I took him out on stream literally yesterday I think it was oh actually I think I really remember where he is um, but since we've got the 10,000 year old key, let's just go around and clear some chests out. So let's go to... Let's start from the village of all beginnings and let's go to the old pond. Grab this chest here, that one. And then from here we can, uh, if we jump up over here and then drop down to just over here. Get rid of these two because they're in our way. There we go. Hmm. Damn. I just healed that up as well. So we're going to have a little go at a little mini game here. This is, we're still 23 minutes on the recording, I thought I'd give it a go. Now there are three medals we can get. If you want the trophy though, you are going to have to get the gold rank. Which is not easy to do, I'm not going to lie. It's an absolute pain. This guy here will explain everything. Hey, you are in the race. First, be sure to pass the finish line before the time runs out. The finish line to this dirt motocross course is near the Mermaid Singing Rock. If you break the past record, I hear the Mermaid will give you a medal. Well, are you ready? Alright, hurry up, time's running out. There we go, we've got to press square. So what actually what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go back to the starting line here. Just because I didn't know what button to press, because for some strange reason it doesn't tell you the controls, which is really dumb. So you want to be pressing the square button. X to jump, square to speed, basically. You want to try not to lose too much speed. You ideally want to jump through that lot as well. 
2641. That's not bad for our first attempt. Not too shabby at all. I think we need to go this way to go talk to the mermaid. You've really improved, not bad at all. Congratulations, here, take this silver medal. Wow, I'll be damned you got the silver medal. Right off the bat. You would have got the bronze one as well. And we can just sort of fast travel from here. Uh, let's see, where should we go next? That one I'm going to deal with later. Let's go Phoenix Mountain. Let's go clear out the 10,000 year old chests. I can check all the water pumps as well there while I'm at it. See this one here hasn't been drained properly. So what I am just gonna look. Use this lunchbox so we have taken some hefty damage. I need to resort my stuff out again as well. The blooming bag's all disorganised again. haven't been drained properly either. There we go. Oh, I've still got my blackjack equipped. Him. Uh, we can give this guy his fungar drum now as well. If I can work out what I've done with it, there it is. That's him done. And we can go through here to grab the molasses, which we'll need later on. There is the one million year old chest up there, but we'll get that later. Unfortunately, right now, we don't have the key to open that, but we will have it soon. I think the only thing standing in our way of that now, essentially, is defeating the haunted pig, which... I'm having a bit of a brain fart right now, I'm trying to remember where exactly the pig bag for that one is. But we'll get it. We'll get it. Uh, we can get in here now as well, using our mushrooms. Go. And once again we find our good friend. I thought you'd never find me here. I'll have to make the next spot even harder to find. So let's go ahead now and cleanse so that we get our powers back.
Son of a... Uh-oh. Oh, it's fine. Let it swallow me. It's fine. Deal with. <laughs> oh, I almost got caught by that again. Flipping the mirror. I hope we can go through here as well and just clear house. to grab this again as well because Senor Thief has been a dummy and left it behind. I'll show you where to find him. Piglets. Okay, I think these last chests are all million year old wise man ones. Oh no, there's one more here. Whew, that was close. Gate was here in this spot. Okay, well, we're going to wrap the episode up here anyway for now, and we'll pick things up next time where hopefully we will do away with another evil pig. So, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, let me know in the comments section. Smash that like button, be subscribed to the channel because it really does support the channel. And I'll see you all next time for more Tomby One. Take care.